new tonight, the Providence Diocese will follow in the steps of other dioceses in releasing a list of Rhode Island priests credibly accused of sexual abuse. That list will be posted online tomorrow. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halpern joins us live in studio with what this means for the ongoing sex abuse crisis. Eric. Kate, the list is scheduled to be released at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. This is a story Eyewitness News has been following for months. Back in December, Bishop Tobin first announced on Newsmakers this list would be coming out. Months after first being announced, the list of Rhode Island Catholic clergy credibly accused of sexually abusing children is just hours away from being released. We've started a process of trying to compile that list, um, and I think um, it's my expectation that after the first of the year, sometime in the new year, we will be publicizing that list. That's Providence Diocese Bishop Thomas Tobin on Newsmakers this past December. Once the list is released Monday, the Providence Diocese will join a growing list of dioceses nationwide that have already done the same. I don't think there will be too many surprises because they've already been publicized. The list will include names of clergy who have been credibly accused of sexual abuse of minors. As we've reported, Bishop Tobin says the Providence Diocese has had a long-standing policy of reporting all accusations to police. Back in August of 2016, they signed an agreement with the Attorney General promising to give the names to the AG2. We've had a good relationship with the Attorney General's office. In December, Bishop Tobin told the Target 12 investigators the church has spent about $18 million on legal settlements with victims. The first focus still has to be on the victims themselves, on the survivors, because it's been a terribly painful process for them. And the diocese hopes doing this tomorrow will help those impacted by sexual abuse in the church. In a statement sent out tonight, a spokesperson wrote, It is our hope that it provides healing and consolation to those who have been harmed and is a sign of our ongoing commitment to transparency and protecting children and youth. I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.